Hi there, Simber Lily Quinn here from the Improvising Harpist and Rosalani Music in Denver, Colorado. So glad to have you with me. Today I just wanted to put together a quick post on overthinking and underthinking improvisation. I'm inspired by Sarah Torpy, who's a wonderful business coach who talks about overthinking and underthinking. And I'm also inspired by Stephanie Bieber. And if you haven't seen my interview with Stephanie Bieber about improvisation from last fall, Definitely check that out. It's here on the YouTube channel and also on the Facebook group. And if you're new here and you're not in the Facebook group yet, definitely stop by the Improvising Harpist. Be happy to have you there and join us. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love to talk about chord numbers and string numbers and how to put all that together. And that's a very thinky kind of place. There's a lot of thinking going on with that. And today is about none of that. Today we're just going to talk about improvising in a very underthinking kind of way. And because of the way that our harps are set up, uh, the way the strings are tuned, and the way the diatonic instrument is uh, tuned, we can make beautiful music without even having to think about it. And so this is what I want to encourage you to do today, is just to take four fingers and put them anywhere on the harp. It doesn't. I didn't even look. I don't know what I'm going to play. I've got some kind of minor-ish thing going. And I'm just moving my hand back and forth around on the harp. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. I'm not trying to play something. I'm just putting my fingers on the harp. And just listening to what's happening. So sometimes I feel like doing a big rolled chord. Very beautiful. And then maybe I want to just put in a few notes. Like Bob Ross's paintings. You know, happy note here and there. How am I doing this? I have no idea. I'm just playing notes. I'm not thinking at all. to enroll chords downwards. Single nose. I'm thinking a tiny bit now, just going back to that same note. I'm not overthinking this. So I want to encourage you to do that, to do something that doesn't require any thinking at all, just putting your fingers on the harp and playing. And if you're interested in learning more about this, I do have a few openings in my studio for private students, and I'd be delighted to talk with you about helping you uh, underthink your improvisations and get more of your music out there. So uh, if you'd like to do that, just drop me a note at simberlilyharp at gmail.com, and I will be delighted to talk with you. Get out there and make music. You improvising harpists. See you soon. Bye.